You're back, Belle. Welcome home. Do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about something. Alright, what are we going to talk about with flies, I mean? Yeah. Oh, alright. Belle, you're here. We need to talk about two important issues today. The first issue is our income and expenses for the month. Uh, did you find out about the my shopping spring or the words expensive give me a headache? Mm, I'll say this. Uh, Wise, well, it's not what you think. These games are... Huh? What games? <laughs> this is a serious issue. Don't change the subject. As I was saying, first is the video store. This month's revenue is about the same as before. No, what's changed is our proxy work. It's hard to find well-paid commissions with our low internet level right now. Our income this month is less than one third of what we used to make. Wow. Reminder, since I filtered the highest paying commissions available, your income has increased by 32.21%, exceeding 47% of all internet users. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet, fairy. You're the next issue. Uh-oh. <clears throat> because of Fairy, our electricity bill this month is five times higher. Oh, shoot. Five times? Why? Five times? Dude, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. What else could it be? Under Fairy's control, the HDD has been working at full capacity 24-7, which drives up our electricity bill. Oh, dang it. Can we always borrow the, <laughs> the electric nate for wire from our neighbors? We could struggle with this uh with this mortgage payments. Uh I'll say the neighbors once. That sounds I'm funny. I'm actually considering borrowing some power from our neighbors. Cracking jokes at a time like this? Looks like the cunning hairs are a bad influence. <laughs> but even when times are tough, we can't take bigger risks just because we need money. That's the second thing I wanted to tell you. We got assigned a lucrative commission on the proxy network just now. The other party didn't specify what they wanted done, only that we'll be contacted privately. Mm. Our account level is so low right now, and we don't have any particular achievements to speak of. So wanting to contact us in secret seems strange. Yeah, it is strange. The client may have some ulterior motive, and there's been a lot of scammers using the proxy network recently. Well, uh, I wish there was a way to find out who this client is. I wish there was some way to find out who the client is. But the proxy network is anonymous. User info is highly classified. I don't think it's possible. Negative. The assigned commission may contain hidden identity related info. Hidden info? What do you mean by that? The account was created one day before the commission was published. Its user avatar is a low-resolution ground photo with no clear subject. The same image could not be retrieved from the internet, so should be presumed to have been taken by the user. According to data analysis of the city's street view and terrain materials, this photo was taken at the verge of the Janus Quarter, which is currently part of the construction site for the Old Capital Metro Renovation Project. Oh? Wait, let me think. After we exposed what Vision was planning, they held another bid, and Bellabog Industries took over the rights to the project. Can it be... Ordinary citizens shouldn't be anywhere near the construction site. Could the commission be posted by someone from Bellabog? Master, a TV channel is currently broadcasting a show with a Bellabog staff member as a guest. Oh, really? How timely. Let's have a watch then. Alright. We'll turn on the TV. The show? Oh, it's these guys. Bang Boom Nose! Hey, kids! It's Bang Boom Nose time again! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's kind of cute. And now this guy's sleeping. We're on air, Leon! Leave your silly dreamland! It's time to bring in today's guest! Um, <clears throat> no need to. I'm 
already here. Well, guess we can't rely on Leon today. In that case, let me welcome our guest. <laughs> He's getting mad. So, Anton, <laughs> let's announce today's topic together. In my opinion, as far as reconstruction plans go, I think Bellabog Industries is better. Uh... Oh, <laughs> you're like a real expert. Is Bellabog's plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. Where are you from? Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and environmentally friendly solution, but it is also more time consuming. Wow, Vision is awesome! You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. <laughs> so Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Ah, oh, he's pissed. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. <laughs> oh, wait. What? what? Natural lion. <laughs> You're actually a lion? <laughs> Anton, I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Oh. Unlike somebody who is the president of an emerging construction company on the surface. But behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. Well, this is serious. <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. I'm surprised they aired it. Yeah. Bellabog's public image has always been pretty good, but people still manage to find their dirty laundry. I wonder how much trouble this metro renovation project is going to stir up. Master, I detect a private message from the client of the previously designated commission. They contact us? They yeah, that's us. us? Yeah, that's us. I detect some threatening words in the message. Please allow me to read it aloud. Huh? Threatening words? Faithen, we need you. At this moment, our situation is dire. It's life or death. We hope to get your help. Actually, you are the only one who can help. Since the stakes are so high and any commission details will compromise my real identity, I hope to talk to you in person. Tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at the crossing on 6th Street. Please help. Fairy, the next time you mention a threat, please remember to specify who's being threatened. <laughs> hmm. Judging from their message, the client must really be in trouble. They sounded pretty serious. But asking to meet in person is somewhat suspicious. They want to meet in person at 5 o'clock in the morning and without offering any info at all on the proxy network. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. The first line in the message. Faithen, we need you. I don't recall ever mentioning our identity as Faithen on this account. How would they know? Master, the client sent us a new private message just now. As a sign of good faith, we'll pay 20% of the commission fee in advance as a deposit. Please help us. Your internet account has received the corresponding payment. This meeting is very likely to be a trap, Bell. Choosing the money in this situation could cost us our lives. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can have Fairy return the client's deposit? Master, the amount is 1.1 times the total income from internet in the previous month. Do you wish to return this deposit? Wait, how much did you say? 1.1 times the previous month's total income. Let's be sure you take things out, yeah. So, maybe I should go check things out. After all, um, you know. Didn't we agree to avoid risking our lives for money? <laughs> but, if you insist, you can pretend to be a jogger early tomorrow morning and take a look. Alright. Alright. It's almost time for the meeting. Are you ready to go? Alright, I am the pair. My self-defense. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this. My taser is charged. 
I can imagine you using it, but I hope you won't need to. Take care. Fairy and I will be standing by to offer support. All right. Well, it'll be our scene. Five o'clock in the goddamn morning. Well, that's gonna piss someone off. I know it will piss me off. <laughs> All right, there that boy. There he is. <laughs> Can you hear me, Belle? Did you get there? How's the situation? Uh, oh, this suspicious guy is talking to himself. Really? He seems to have caused a small commotion. That big guy ahead, right? Let's get closer and have a listen. <sighs> Without my bro around. I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination. Oh, <laughs> that make for a very thin dictionary. <laughs> Whatever. They'll be here soon. Then I go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. This guy does seem rather shady. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. Master. The above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of Videotape 16-5 on Shelf 3, Section H. <laughs> Section H? Isn't that the one with the old civilization thrillers we've never cared for? Movie title, Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. Oh, shoot. Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! Oh. Uh, shit, I don't even know. Take this. Check this out! Whoa! Hey, watch where you're swinging that taser. It could be dangerous. Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're faithing, right? Hmm? Bell, this guy looks familiar. Wait, wasn't he the guest on Bang Boo Knows yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm Anton from Bellabog. Since you've already recognized me, I'm going to make this simple. Faithen, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, tell us how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours. <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous Proxy Faithen, and that you were a top-notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. I didn't expect such praise from Nicole. She thinks too much of us. <laughs> <laughs> You're too modest! The cunning hairs highly recommend it! Huh? Wait, how did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? Oh. I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. <laughs> Of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? Right on! Follow me! I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. All right. All right now, right now. So early, yeah. I'll say this. That construction site you mentioned? Isn't it that metro project you just took over? Bingo! If it were still up to vision, the nearby area would be blown to bits. But now, 
It's a battlefield where my construction bros are pouring their blood, sweat, and tears! <laughs> if we're going on a field trip, we need to make some preparations. Why don't you go with my sister and wait by the parking lot? She can drive you to the site later. Sure! Thanks for the lift, then! Alright, we're gonna go over there. Wait, where we buy something? Can I buy something? Nada. Ooh, okay, I can. Ah! I did not mean to do that. Well, I can just done this. Okay. What? Not just leave it. We're going to drive. Oh, 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 a new place. I'm going to be curious about this place. All right, chapter two. A call from the hollow, hollow hearts. We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to say, don't be nervous? <laughs> Watch out! Oh, shoot. Stay back! <laughs> hey, what have you done now? Oh, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Just stay like that. Don't move. <laughs> don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Oh shoot. Oh, the bear. Ooh. Ooh. Phew. Looks like that's it. Sorry, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> A real beast, huh? This is Bella Box boss? Uh, hello? Oh, hello there, Miss Proxy. Sorry I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Oh, so you're not the... Let me to introduce our president. Well, that's her. <laughs> I'm president of Bellabog Industries. Kuwait of Bellabog. <laughs> Hello, Faithy. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. We got the call from Anton earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned our company has taken over the Metro Project. But it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. <laughs> uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Miss Proxy? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the Proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. They're treating me like one of your own. Yeah. Tell me more about this enemy. Ooh. I wanna... Oh, I'm saying this. Anton has a point. We'll be working together, so you can consider us one big family. Oh, I'm really moved, Proxy. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But, since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. Mmm, I see. And first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV! 
As if all that wasn't bad enough, during all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Ooh. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Miss Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? So I have. I heard about them on a TV show. Wait, so the missing children were... machines? Exactly. Our competitive edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. Not only can they effectively resist ether corruption, they're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. Mm. I've always taken care of them. And I'm the one who improved upon the prototype so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for their routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. That last episode four, uh, where they corrupted by eaters. And then, I'll say this, I think that makes sense to me. Sounds like the logic core malfunctioning? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellabog Industries, people are gonna talk. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure it's a problem with the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. Proxy, we'd like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. Alright. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton. Okay. Alright, I want to do something real fast. Ooh! I don't want to look around, but hold on, give me a second. Okay, okay, um, who am I going to talk to? Well, let's talk to him. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Boom. What should we ask? Blah blah blah. Why do we have a child problem? Progress sliding. Grace. Okay, Jesus. Then, <laughs> oh dang, okay. I right, stuck to her. Mm -hmm. 
Tu... Go here. And guess we go back inside. Well, I want to do something real. Okay, where? Go inside. Chapter 2, which one are we going? <coughs> okay, so we need ice. Okay, let me see. And lightning to it, okay. Um, oh, let's we'll use these. Like, oh, okay. We'll use these characters. This is it. This is where the signal came from. That child. In hollow boring machine Mark III Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. Hardworking and capable and cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine responsible for excavating tunnels. To work faster, it's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. And you used to be so cute when you were little. Yeah. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Uh huh? I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts. Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons, and trying to merge with other machines! Oh, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> and that might be interesting to watch. It's still just a child. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'll say this. Wait, how come you're not talking? <sighs> Don't push your buttons, Proxy. Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. Detecting heavy machinery signal. Sinking location data. And we gotta go all the way to fuck over there. Active. It's currently. Huh? What's it doing? Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's fight some enemies. I mean, we already know. I already know most of these characters. Because I've been playing some of them. Let's have some fun. Oh shoot! Ah! Oh. Hold
children need lots of rest. About to get hit. Just try me! Oh, man. Leave the heavy lifting. I'll take it. Let me tag in. Oh, that was a double team. I didn't know we can do that. How you do that again? I gotta know how to do that. I'll take it. Bring it on. Switch with me, sweetie. Here we go. Hey! Oh no, damn it! I want to do. <coughs> I want to do that again. Oh, okay. yeah, hold on. Okay. We can't go there yet. Oh, shoot. It's gonna attack us now. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, we got our stuff. Oh man, I was gonna do that tech tag team. Oh shoot. We did it again, but bam. All right, we're done with that. Ah, right. Take this. Ooh, what the heck is this? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I should have packed more. We don't need it yet, though, so, um... I think we'll use it later. Bam, bam, bam. Four enemies to fight, you bastards. Help. Huh? 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 Huh?
run, my van. You gotta get hit. <laughs> Come in. Demolition. Bam! Yeah! Alright, come on. Okay, I was wondering what that was. How should we approach it? Scanning suitable exploration route. Please bypass the current area. Oh, really? are fighting you bastards switch with me sweet pea That yeah, they will use them for the next one. <laughs> oh, never mind. Damn. Or an attack team greatness right there. Wait, let me do this. Yeah, but I don't want to waste it. Maybe next time. I just want to see what that was. Proxy, is this really a good path to take? Apologies. We had no other choice. reached it so close careful don't draw the boring machine over here what I do okay huh guess we gotta do this And hold on. Oh, on. Why come I never thought about that? There's a safe zone up ahead. Go there. I'm gonna waste in these goddamn bombs. We can't get through now. 
now, right? Yeah, we're safe. For now. Now then, how do we get out of here? Yeah, that's the point. How the freak do we get out? Hmm. I have an idea. What's that? Oh shoot. <laughs> Calm down, everything's fine. Besides, look, aren't we right by our target? <laughs> Just don't be so reckless next time. Okay. Why can I hear a girl's voice? Uh, up there! So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. One! Oh, it's only been a couple of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> uh, just take it easy now, Grace. But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! Oh, yes. I made up my mind. I'm staying here with Mr. White. You'll take back what you said. To uh -oh. protect its loved one, the boring machine. It somehow awakens this amazing power. Now's not the time for fangirling. Focus on dealing with it. Oh, dang. Grace, please allow me. Oh, think I'm getting hacked. Try this. Try my door. Blast power test. Leave. Be First, team. Ben, need some help? You big evil monsters! How ah. you hit a lady so hard? Come on, everyone! It's running out of energy! <laughs> Commence! Demolition! Take this! Let me tag in! Yeah. Uh oh, the fighting attracted some ethereals. You dare jump on Mr. White? Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away, you mm. filth! Stop being so rude, or I'll, I'll. Uh, she's about to cry. I told you not to touch him. You moldy turds just don't understand, do you? Oh, oh. Uh, I guess I was wrong. She got mad. She, she's like a different person. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Is this the power of a girl in love? What kind of love power allows the use of an ether electric hybrid 1400 kilogram demolition saw? Wait, Miss Boring Machine. That way is... Boring machine. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. White. I got too excited. Uh oh. She got crashed on. Mr. White! Hang in there, Mr. White! 
the impact just now. It cut through the load-bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! It's all my fault! Now don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell! She knows nothing about love! Lift up your head and look around. Mr. White is hugging you! Uh? What? Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. I'm going back with you. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And we have to do the next one, right? Hold on, let me be back. All right, let's continue that part of the story. And we're gonna start. Oh, okay. We'll use these characters. Roxy, according to the signal, seems like the grappler we're looking for is somewhere in this hollow. It's outside the construction site and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. Yep. Oh, okay, um... I'll say this. Finding things in the hollows is my specialty. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Anyway, let me tell you about the grappler first. The grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. Hmm. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, n nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. Ah, oh, well, it's a story. Oh, is it a story about fearless bros? Uh... The main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. Now, this is just my humble opinion, but our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Monotonous work? Ben, that's not true. The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after backbreaking training day after day. And it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow, becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel. Uh, I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer for him. <laughs> uh, well said. Oh, I'm saying this. I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer him on. That's Anton for you. Such speeches are how he motivates people at the start of each new project. Let's be off. Our priority now is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Alright. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me. Alright, hold on. Where are we at? Okay, we gotta go all the way over there. Warning. Multiple hostiles detected. Oh Jesus. Ha! Perfect! Let's go, bro! 
Anton. Don't rush off on your own. I already did. Oh, you already deal with the enemy. Now we're fighting. Tough ones to me. What's going on? Oh, uh, looks like we're doing with the bot. Is it a boss? Oh no. President, time to right, knock you guys out. Sneak attack? Not cool. Here we go. Attack! Face me! And now she got out of here, bro. Bam! Structures and obstacles exist in this area. Proceed through this crack to continue searching. You're small enough to easily squeeze through. Correction. Agent Ben Bigger will require considerable effort to pass through. Hey, 
<sighs> My bro is stuck. He can't make it through. Don't move, Anton. We'll see what we can do. Scouting new route. But what about the ethereals along the way? No problem. Piece of cake. Master, there is no point in staying here. Proceed to the next. Oh, okay. Great. Nothing can stop us. Now, let's look for that grappler. Okay, let's just go over here. Don't care. It is likely our target. Look! The grappler's up ahead! Don't worry! They're no match for me and my bro! He took them out. More ethereals are surrounding us. Doesn't matter. They can't stop us. I was fighting some of them. I thought he would fight some of them, but I guess not. But I still want to fight some more. Come on. Want some help from my baby? I'm here. Anton, tag. Big enough! Don't blink! You'll make me dash you into the ground! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Wait, why are you so worked up too, Sweet Pea? <laughs> yeah, they want to fight. 
This bitch, yes. All right. Oh, my pursuers are finally here. I've been waiting. Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality. His installed voice was nothing like this. Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you. Me like a child refusing their medicine. I'm a real bro, fearless and unyielding. A real bro? You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Oh, look who's talking. The answer is simple then. Let's battle one on one. Oh, okay. A battle of real bros. <laughs> I'd better take things seriously. Don't underestimate me. Witness my power! Huh? Well, it's been out quite! Huh? Grab a couple more! Alright, finish you off! Hey there, Grappler! Why did you run away from us? If you really want to know, you must defeat me first! Support has arrived. Leave the tough ones to me. No escape! Straight into 
the ground! All right, knock your ass out. <laughs> An opening. Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast. He's trying to escape. <laughs> you may have made quite the effort tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you. So give up now and admit defeat. I'm a real bro, and these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever. Wait! If it's just about your workload, we can work this out. If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals. Just come back with us, heavy-duty grappler Hans. Silence! Don't call me by that basic name! It's totally not my vibe! A real <laughs> bro should pick his own name! Powerful and bold! Like a total beast! Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... Uh-oh. He ain't getting attacked. Boom. Uh, uh, what, what's happening? The Ethereals. Uh, ethereals! Stop! Let go of me! Woe is me! It looks like my brief existence has come to an end. Oh no, our watch. You just said you were real bro. Is this how far your faith in yourself goes? You... Why are you helping me? <laughs> you have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. <laughs> That's right! That's right! Anton, my brother! Wait, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> it might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. <laughs> yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. Oh, yeah, what's your name? My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine! <laughs> Welcome back, Bell. Bellabog contacted us just now. They said they're going to send the first two machines to get serviced. Then text us once Ben has the rough location of the pile driver. Sounded like it shouldn't take them too terribly long to find the pile driver, but it won't be instantaneous either. If that's the case, you might as well go kill some time while we wait. All right then. What are we gonna do now? Okay. Go to the bed. Let's see what they got. Ooh. Yeah, I remember this. Blah, blah, blah. Story. <laughs> well, here's Ben. Uh, 
All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got from Ben. Bell, do you want to call Bellabog? I'll dial the number. Hello, can you hear me? This is Faithen. Ah, uh, it's the two Faithens. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm sorry to trouble you by calling in person. I'll jump straight into the commission details. This time, we'd like to ask your help in retrieving the Mark III in hollow industrial pile driver. The pile driver had been working diligently in the hollow before its disappearance, just like the other two machines. According to Grace, this machine is particularly good at moving across difficult terrain within the hollow, and it's faster than any other machine. That's maybe why it was able to run so deep into the hollow. Sorry to have kept you waiting while we tried to locate it. The good news is, its signal hasn't moved from where we first located it. I'll send you the data we've got. Looks like the pile driver has stopped somewhere. In that case, Let's find the nearest hollow entrance before it moves. Fairy, would you mind? Not at all. Generating root within the target hollow. Root generation complete. All right. Let's go and get this done. All right, let's do our thing. Oh, we got him now. We got our boy Ben. Really? Okay. Okay, we're using these characters. Again. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> This place feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back. Right. Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experienced pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Target located. Proceed with the recovery. Honor if it's gonna move or make this easy. I guess not. This guy's dramatic! Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. <laughs> I just left. Let's get him. Oh, you back your ass over here. Warning. The target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Please clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. Watch out. You're gonna fall into the fissure. I'm all right. We need to figure out a way to get back. Dang. Looks like another enemy. In our way. Alright, this one, you better get lost. Alright. 
I like playing with him. Bam. Bam. Mad. Hey! Stop running! Warning. The target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulate speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Hmm? Did I just repeat myself? <laughs> yeah. Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no Starlight Knight. <laughs> Give up if you push me away again. Save it, Anton. Tell it in person. <laughs> I'm fighting again. Oh, you got. You need more rest, Fred. Come on. You come from. Oh, okay. Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go. If it doesn't slow, that is. Master, 
The target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Should I broadcast some trash talk to insult it? <laughs> Why do you want to? Please choose a style. Vicious, nasty, or twisted. I can also alternate between 18 known languages. Oh, okay. Just grab it. We don't got time for this. Found it! In Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type 3. Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? I just laugh. <laughs> it's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! Oh, finally. We cut it off. Hold it there. We can't let it get away again! Why is it running? Up front! It's you down. Go Friday. This is the end for you. <laughs> this guy's been completely silent this whole time. Maybe his language module is broken? No way. It can obviously understand us. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> what? Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you? Huh? Traits? Ridiculous. Mere mortals. How dare they speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission? I'm the enlightened sinner. I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge. Thou shalt leave at once. The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal? <laughs> ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones! The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Say, I shall force my way through! Nope. Stop right there! My mentor, I come as... It does. Ben, stop him! If possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. Now jump on him. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. Great job, bro. Grace, now's our chance. I'm here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sit 
is! The seal is breaking down under my most wondrous cause! <laughs> Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Listen to me! I'm not lying! I hear the calling from my mentor horse! I can't fail him! Horse? <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? <laughs> Who's that? Someone that they know? I can't even remember. How long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president. And my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When were you finished building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. But one minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it. What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! Dad, it's so late. Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone. I want to go with you. Kaleida, stop it! There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that, he vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Miss Proxy came to collect their bangboo. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're here. Right, I'll see how everyone's doing. Alright. Hm. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able to get out of that tough spot thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Faithin. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? Ah, uh, your face just now... Um, I feel like that's a chesty subject, though. I'll say this. There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, you had such a weird face. 
Uh, oh, would you look at the time? Uh, President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee from his proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts and the old man went missing. PopSec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the Memorial Square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry for uh, talking about this, yeah. Seems like I brought up some bad memories. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Coleta, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation result and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you- You're the one who doesn't know anything. <sighs> oh, dang. I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Ms. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you. I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The mm. signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG Prototype. That's right, Kaleida. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? The prototype? What's that? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. But apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. The manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. You must be tired. Miss Proxy, please go back and rest for today. All right. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. All right, guess here we go that. I guess I should look around. I want to have never been to this place. Never really looked around. I 
I'm not using that last one. I agree. Let's just wait for them. I never claimed that one, didn't I? I guess we get some rest. Of course. Alright, the next morning. Alright. Thanks for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. Uh, so I finally get some work. I'm glad you made up your mind. Bet it wasn't easy. Yes, the prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So you can talk to her about it. Uh, pr president wait. Coleta mm. walked away with her head hung low. There's still a bit of a grudge between her and Grace. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay, then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll mm. skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. 
Mm. What does reinforce the seal supposed to mean? Wasn't that just part of his over-the-top delusions? Unfortunately, the little one hasn't been able to explain things clearly. But from what I gather, the prototype wanted the other machines to rush to its side. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information, and the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. All right. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. All right, looks like it's our job. I want to hear everyone out. Hey. Hey. Oh shoot. All right, we go there. Um. Nothing to fear. I only handle technical matters. Oh, I might as well do this. I was trying to use Grace. Oh, Hello? Bell, everyone with Bellabok, can you hear me? You're now in the hollow, somewhere near the border between New Eridu and the old capital. Before we get started, let me remind you all, the upcoming metro renovation project also goes through this area, and public security has yet to approve anybody for entry. <sighs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, you've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellbog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed points in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function, so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. As repeaters, the strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines will be different. Then we'll just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. In addition, communication between us and the prototype mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Bell. The location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Let's find the prototype using these three machines. Grace, take the pile. 
wheel driver. Leave the other two to us. All right. Master, the path ahead is blocked by debris. Clearing is required before we may proceed to the boring machine. Understood. I will boss it around without mercy in the same manner my master bosses me around, and it won't dare complain. Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command! Okay. Can you hear me, Proxy? The search is about to begin! I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. All right. External data installation detected, analyzed, and deployed. Transmitting message from the client, Grace. Hey, Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kids. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. Okay. Let's I've uploaded in. the data. It's up to you now. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Um... This little one has enough tonnage to detonate them. How dare you comment on a young lady's tonnage! Fuck. <laughs> Head over to the grappler proxy. All right. I don't fuck I got it all with it. Okay, never mind. Temporary control device deployed. Signal transfer in progress. Nice job there, Proxy. We're getting more signal feedback. Okay, same task, but this time we're controlling the grappler. Okay. Grapplers are different from boring machines. Grapplers can handle explosives but can't smash through walls. So be careful. Okay. All right, there. All right, all three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. Oh. I've got it! 
We're getting a message back from the boring machine. <gasps> All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Huh, it seems the high-frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up, too. No, wait. I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again after we dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleta. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace. It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. That'll have to do, Coleta. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Wait! Don't go! Grace! Sis! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! Warning. High-risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. Not good. We have to go help her. Alright, we're going here right now. Like you 
must have limits to your madness. You say it's for the benefit of Bellabog? If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, Sweet Pea. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Ah, shit. Coleta is right, Grace. We shouldn't risk our lives. We all know you're doing this for Bellabog Industries and Coleta. But if something happened to you, how would Coleta face all of this? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have disconnected. All I was thinking about was how I could possibly deal with the ethereals while staying in communication. I was confident I could hold off until you arrived, but... I didn't explain myself clearly, nor did I consider your feelings. For that, I'm sorry. Uh, it's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. If you guys could just be honest with each other, <laughs> yeah. You two clearly care about each other. If you could just be honest with each other. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype, right? Let's go! Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste. Yes, we have enough search data now. Locating the prototype. Optimizing algorithm. around that area oh he's over there target location confirmed all right bell your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal wait a moment fairy and i will soon have the prototype's position calculating coordinates prototype location found generating a map of the area reminder since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Ferry has drawn up. Ah, got it. Let me see. What's this one? Mm -hmm. Move around. Okay. Hmm. It's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Uh, this is. What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President. Back then, and just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... But why? I don't know what's going on, but looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like the president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say Horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name Horse, but an enlightened sinner stabilizing the seal? It's all nonsense. But, I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. Finally! We found it! Alright, so we gotta go all the way over there. The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton! Let the proxy sit on the machine! Grace? 
something wrong? You're so slow. <laughs> Me? Huh. I was just thinking about something. Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me, you'll be in for it. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? <sighs> Memories. <laughs> I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment. I saw the danger you were in, facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. Uh. You risked your life for Bellabog's future, but as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers. Even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? <laughs> but compared to you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog, but perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding was rejected by his own daughter. Sis. But ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda, have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open, and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's accounts. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report? I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? <sighs> Who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we are all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. All right. Yes, we ain't turning back. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument! The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes! That's the prototype! But why is it in that bizarre position? Yeah. Hmm. 
I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben? Anton? You guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that! <sighs> you two be careful in there! The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places! Don't worry! The cockpit was well sealed! It's still pretty clean inside! Huh? This... this is... No mistaking it, that's a bullet hole! That's not all, Kaleida! Just look around! There are bullet holes all over the cockpit! What? What happened here? Yeah. The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. Hmm? There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait. This is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Horse would never do something like running away with company funds. Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence. Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man. My dad didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Damn it! I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird. He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and what exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Nathan is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. You guys are right. As President, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay. Let's get this prototype back. Over this way. Let him more. Careful. Slowly now. That's it. Steady now, steady! No worries, I'm on it! <laughs> Job done! Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right! The seal! My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What the heck? Something's moving in the monument! Is it an ethereal? Doesn't look like one, but yet, ether levels are shockingly high. Oh, 
shock. Proxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? It doesn't look like an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Belle? What in the world? Oh no! Hans, Friday, come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! What the heck? It transformed! It's huge! Can it sort the machines? Oh, this is going to be crazy. This monster's aura. I've never felt like this before. Can't believe that was in the monument. Dad, is this what he... Because he found this? Oh, hey. Time to switch. You are, you bastards! I'm not tired at all! Want some help from my babies? Ben, need some help. Oh, 
accident! It took a while to get this thing moving. Leave it to me! Come on, you punk! Go, President! Yeah, yeah, robots fight. Sweet pea, push it just like that. Use the monument. Got it. The prototype doesn't sound good! Sweet Pea, don't force it. It's corrupting the prototype! Almost! Come on! Hurry up and get moving! Oh. Oh. Here, Kaleida. Give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Dad, can I really believe in you again? Yo, that's some crazy shit. Days later, inside our random play. Bell, look who's here. Yo, Proxy. What's hey, up? what's up? Kaleida, are you feeling better yet? Eh, don't worry. It's just a few scratches. They're almost all healed up. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We didn't know if it could cause any special harm to humans. <laughs> I guess you're right. Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster in the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning, said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, that's good. The monster's remains are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Faithen? What is this? The memory? Oh, okay. This chip-like thing is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before. Right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, 
There may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleda. Besides, we actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with the supplier, so I'll be heading out. Take care. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. It feels like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's become a more mature president. I never expected what seemed like a simple commission to unearth Bellabog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Bell, if I recall correctly, didn't you say something about your eyes feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't last long, but my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to find out about. Anyway, the remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Barry. Barry, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, you should be able to decipher it, right? I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power, and your electricity usage requirements, I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Mm. Rain? I've heard of her, Belle. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. Since she's Nicole's acquaintance, we'll have an easier time contacting her. Nicole would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts, after all. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'm gonna end this. If you want more party, you can delete, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you guys again.